News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman. This is the 9 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. And we're looking at this is on uh, Thursday, the 23rd of March. Uh, 32,300 on the Dow futures, up 42 S&P futures. All right, let me just go to this uh, at the moment. I'm going to go to the continuous contract. Uh, it's up 18 at 39.88. The reason why um, I'm talking about this, because you can see these different Look at the weekly chart of the E-mini. Um, it's above the inside track repellent zone. It's at a 38.2, 38-point uh, extension to the downside support. Uh, but it needs a lot more. It needs to get by Monday or Tuesday of, of next week. It needs to be trading closer to the 4,015 to the 4,030 area to really say, hey, yesterday was just an emotional aberration to the downside. We're looking at the NQ which is the, um, this is the E-mini NASDAQ continuous contract, up 117 and 12,824. This is a way better chart. And I was just mentioning a moment ago, I did my show, I recorded it a little uh, at 8 to 9. It'll be replayed at 10. If the, if the uh, futures are able to hold for about an hour above 12,960, in the next two days, by either by has to be by Friday. There's a real good chance it could test the high of yesterday. You do not want to see a close below yesterday's low of twelve thousand and six seventy eight. The other thing is the IWM. That's the Russell two thousand trading up twenty two cents at one seventy one eighty six. Not a good looking chart. I'd, I'd like everything in sync, and we're getting a lot of things out of sync. Because look, the XLF, the financials, still struggling like crazy, which is really helping gold. Uh, gold is up sharply. It's up 25 bucks, um, up in the higher range, uh, doing very nicely. The dollar's struggling. Uh, dollar is down 27 ticks at 102.29. Looking at the bonds, and this is going to be also fascinating because the bonds are saying down 7.30 seconds at 132 and 24.30 seconds. We're in a range. We haven't broken up or down right now. We sort of yields are stuck in a range. And if you're looking at crude oil trying very hard, to break to the upside down 53 cents at 70.39. I just think it's stuck in the lower range until until crude oil can actually trade for a day or two above 72.50. It's just kind of stuck. So as I'm looking at it right now, I want to see uh, for, for a positive reaction going into Friday's close, the Dow must be 80 or 90 points higher after two o'clock. The, the, the S&P and the uh, NASDAQ need to be up sharply. I almost see down 100.